Uh, this has been wonderful. Our own Kedeka Literature Prize for Africa. Right here in my hometown, Thika. And I feel proud to be part of this engagement. Very, very proud. And congratulations to all those, to all the winners. This is Thika and this is Africa. 23 countries, more than 200 entrants. And we have come to the end of this part of the program. <clears throat> After this, we are going to have some book launch by a young man. And as we organize ourselves to go into transit to that section of the program, we are going to have some musical uh, interlude titled Billy in the Robotic Universe by one of our young writers. It's, a mom it's, it's momentous to imagine that we could be reading what has been written by our own, own children who are still in school. And this is the way to go. Let us encourage our young ones to do what they know and to put the way, I mean, to put their foot forward in uh, exploiting the talent. We teachers, we don't have a choice but to help them to do all their best. Floor is yours. Please unmask so that we can record your image in our hard disk. Thank you. Asante Mwarimkwa for giving me this opportunity once again. I really don't have much to talk about because this session of the ceremony is not ours, but it belongs to our young ones. And before I bring Joseph Kenya to you, I would like to present the original manuscript that Kenya penned down his writing. It is done in pencil, that is for his, if there is a mistake, he could easily rub and do the necessary corrections. And I would like to have present it the, the same to our chief guest, somebody to pass it over to the chief guest so that he can have a look at it, she can have a look at it. That is the original, one of the original manuscripts. And that tells us that it doesn't matter where you start. Does it? It doesn't matter where you start. All we need is for you to start writing. Once you start writing, if you are using a pencil, the pencil will do the rest of it. If you are using a pen, the pen get, gets its own life. So let me not defeat from what I was called upon to do. And somebody to escort Joseph Kenya to me. Somebody out there to escort Joseph Kenya to us. Somebody to escort Joseph Kenya to the podium. I can see the parents are uh, moving forward. Joseph Kenya, Ningote, Mambo. Do you want me to talk about him or allow him to speak on his, for himself? Joseph, I don't think I should speak for you. Speak for yourself, introduce yourself. You are the writer, and that is your uh, mic. Joseph, can you tell us where you come from? Joseph, kindly unmask. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I thank you so much. My name is Joseph Wanjau Kenyua. I'm from Kirinyaga at Ker in Kerugoya. I school at Kerugoya with Shepherd Academy. I was brought by fellow friends who have, who have been supporting me ever since I started writing this storybook and my teachers, my our head teacher, Mr. Mwangi, 
my teacher of English, Mr. Gitonga, and my class teacher, Mr. Damberi. They have really helped me in my journey of writing this storybook. I also thank uh, Mr. Andrew Miner. He has encouraged me as I was writing. Also, I, I saw some books written by Modonio Agishuru. I also thank her for assisting me. And warm appreciations go to my parents, uh, Mr. Christopher Kenyo Anjao and Elizabeth Wangare Kenyo. They have assisted me. They have kept on encouraging me to write. And as I was writing my book, it was very captivating. I didn't even have time to start going to gadgets because all my focus was on the book. I couldn't get out from the book. I was so engaged. And I hope that the same will happen to my readers. They will get engaged to my book and enjoy it. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Would you like us to hear the voice of your father? Yes. Okay, give him the mic. Thank you much. Uh, as uh, he has uh, introduced uh, us, we are uh, his, uh, his parents. I'm um, Christopher Kinyua Wanjau, and uh, he is my firstborn. And I remember uh, during COVID times, there was a time I think we stayed, uh, they stayed at home for more than uh, seven months. And during that time, that's when he told me to buy a three choir uh, lulled book for him now to start uh, writing his, his story. He has been doing uh, short stories uh, in uh, uh, mostly in compositions and uh, things like that. But uh, this time loud, I was not sure. And uh, when he told me that uh, he wanted to do short stories, uh, I was not sure. And uh, that's why uh, when he was doing now the lighting, the actual lighting, I was there mostly to see whether he is uh, maybe copying somewhere, because also he usually reads a lot of novels, so I wanted to confirm that, eh? because I was not sure. Because even for me to do a story, I know it is not easy, and I think uh, that's also the same case with most of us adults, uh, concentrating and uh, coming up with a book of more than 200 pages is not easy. So that's why I wanted also for me to confirm, and I think uh, I can now confirm before you that... Uh, this work is uh, was done by him uh, using a pencil and uh, the book. And I remember there was a time even the book got lost in school. And uh, we had a very big challenge uh, getting the book. And I want to thank uh, the teachers who traced the book from the school. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yes, and babies. Uh, I think it's one of the students, one of the pupils who also assisted to locate the book. And uh, that's when now, that, that by that time, the book, I think what was, it was halfway, he was also now able to uh, to continue and uh, finish the book. So congratulations, Joseph, and uh, we shall continue supporting you. Uh, we know that you have already now started doing uh, the next the next book, but uh, it's also, also important that you also focus on your uh, studies. I know you are supposed now to do your KCPE exam in the... Uh, next, uh, uh, like six, six, seven months. So work hard, and uh, uh, we are uh, very happy to be associated with you. Thank you very much. Asante, Asante, Bwana Wajau. And this is a, an amazing work by this young man with the support of the parents. Would you like to hear something from the teacher? Yeah. One of the teachers. We, we are going to be... Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Okay. Mine just to encourage Joseph. Joseph and his sibling. Don and Michelle, may you come? That is a new cat and calling. And we are proud of you for good work. We are happy to watch you, to watch your journey. We are happy to walk you, to watch you walking. We are so happy. Thank you for making us happy. How are you? I'm very happy for Joseph. Congratulations, boy. I am his uh, teacher of English. 
and if there's anything that challenges me is reading is uh, compositions i actually have to think a lot it challenges me a lot and uh, we've been together all the journey and uh, i'm so grateful that uh, each one of us will come from this place with billy in the robotic universe do you promise me to do that please so that at least you encourage him so that uh, at least he does better and uh, continues with his uh, pictures stories thank you so much thank you marim now we have a small problem we i don't know moya why is the, the book everybody asking why is the book that we are we are going to unveil joseph your book has been stolen once again there is no book to unveil kindly look for your book and you got stuck in the that paragraph how many try tonight it's not easy joseph you have it you got it don't let it go away keep writing so uh, we would like uh, dr do you have a word for the young writer Yes, thank you Adru and I once again appreciate the effort that Adru has done to put us all to all of us together and now specifically to Joseph congratulations yes i can see the future is bright for you this is not easy as many have said putting one sentence putting a second sentence and now to getting into more than 300 pages book I believe Joseph you have put a lot of effort and I congratulate you I also congratulate the parents who have given the bag the a good background because even the English is speaking is not just the one from the village it must be that he has been exposed to good background education background in terms of where he went to uh maybe nursery where he went to the the lower levels of his class and we say congratulations we also congratulate the English teacher you've done a good job I I believe this uh will go a long way to help Joseph become a good narrator even in the future and he will help many like one of uh, like the main editor we have around us Naboga thank you so much Naboga I trust that you have seen uh, the potential in Joseph and you shall launch it even to greater heights so I congratulate you Joseph even your siblings I'm sure they are proud of you can you imagine how much it's going to go a long way to just say that they have been part of you in this writing of this kind of a book i don't want to say my age but i've not yet come up with one <laughs> so i say congratulations and uh, may god help you even to do much more i've just been reading the few pages that have were brought to me in the old book that you had the old uh, square book and it is shows you even have very good hand writing and i'm glad that you're going to too much more even that we can be called inventive and may god bless you and may he guide you all the way asante sana and once again congratulations this is kedeka kedeka prize for african literature and joseph has got it again by being a 
a, a writer who is recognized during this award. Congratulations, Yote. Thank you. Thank you, Daktari. We are almost coming to the end of our session. And I would like Mount Kenya University's students to come and join your, your dean. Mount Kenya team, kindly come so that we can recognize you. Well, uh, just don't go. go, don't go yet. Yeah. Hey, don't go yet. Yeah. And as we bring forth the Mount Kenya University, I would like all the writers in our midst to rise on their feet so that we can recognize you. Writers, all writers. Is it okay if I say they come forward so that we see them? Please. I'm giving the photographers an opportunity of doing their photographs as we continue. These are the, the writers. We may not be able to recognize and uh, name each and every one of us, but these are the people who are bringing forth, uh, they are representing the people who are bringing forth the material we are consuming. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and I believe forums will come in the future where we shall be able to celebrate each and every one of you. And as we start, I would like Madam Mudoni Gishuru come and do your photo thanks. Oh, let her get her written speech. We did not, I would like to particularly recognize Faith Onea. You read her columns in the Daily Nation? Faith Onea? She's here with us. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Faith, hi. Uh, you know, I realized that I might end up being in a bongo. <laughs> 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 Doctor, my name is Lucas Lucas Wafula. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a publisher. Uh, I'm an editor. Most of these guys are my writers. Uh, I, I, I'm a writer. I write about writing. I'm a writing coach. Um, and I just want to say congratulations to Joseph. Congratulations, Joseph. Keep it up. And let's have that book. I want to read that book. Yeah, I want to read that book. And I know everybody here wants to read that book. And uh, when I say congratulations, Joseph, you look at me. Look at me. <laughs> the writers call me Lord Lucas. <laughs> when I tell you your story is good, it is good. So when I tell you congratulations, I really mean it. And you should write your next book. Sasa, God bless you. you. Yeah. Madoni? <laughs> Faith, faith, faith. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, Joseph. Um, I was introduced by Andrew as a journalist, but I'm here as a writer and as a mother as well. So as a writer, I feel encouraged and inspired by your efforts. I'm definitely going to take away an autographed copy. I have a seven-year-old daughter who is unfortunately swimming right now. <laughs> but <laughs> but she has been actually been trying to write and I'm going to introduce her to you so that you can tell her that it can happen. So you are showing the world that there is talent in Kenya, that there is talent in Pika, and that that talent is going to go out into the world. And to the fellow writers here, this is a moment of glory for all of us. Anytime a writer gives birth to a book, we take pride and ownership of it. So we are proud of you, and uh, I hope this is not the last book. Once you finish your exams, you unleash another one. You know? Uh, it's season two or something. <laughs> yeah. When you speak, well, after everyone has spoken, <laughs> I don't know what to say. But there's so many people that I do want to thank for making this happen. Of course, I will start with Mr. Maina. 
actually met Mr. Maina a couple of years ago, but I didn't know who he was until I saw in the newspaper something about Kedeka Prize that I thought he's just here a walking distance because my house is just down the uh, road. And uh, when I became part of Kedeka, I feel very proud. Today, I was hosting uh, a NAMCA forum, a forum for writers, and we had one of our guests as one of our CEO, a CEO of uh, Oxford. And uh, we were challenging him that he's, uh, he has a voice. And uh, I told him, here in Pika, we are already doing something to grow grassroots uh, uh, literature in the village. This is actually more of a village than a town. So I also want to thank the, our board chair, Mr. Muro. He comes all the way from Nairobi for meetings here. So I want to thank you for the commitment that you have shown. I want to thank uh, Lord Lucas. <laughs> the name of Lord Lucas, uh, we started calling uh, Lucas, Lord Lucas, me, and uh, there's a guy called Tony Mutama because he he is a lot as far as uh, we are concerned in literature. He turned our books into award-winning manuscripts. So when you see him, you see him to Mdogo, that's why in Alewa Mepata Nabongo of Mumias. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you. I want to thank our guest, Dr. Sarah Kimaru from MKU, who is the Dean of Social Sciences. Thank you for gracing our occasion. We are very, very grateful that you found time to be with us. I want to thank the Kedeka family, the larger Kedeka family. I know without you, this would not have happened. So we want to thank you most sincerely, especially for bringing literature kwa ground as our young men on as a maga uku kwa ground. So thank you. I want to also thank our judges, Remy and Ro, and uh, our chief judge. I've already thanked him. I want to mention a special category of people that has not been mentioned. When you said in short stories or uh, pieces of literature, there are people who we call the gatekeepers who do the initial reading. I'm not going to say their names because gatekeepers are not supposed to be announced, but I know they are, they are watching. So the judges, the two judges from, uh, the, there's two readers from Kenya and one from Uganda. We want to thank you for the good work that you did to go through the many entries that were submitted and choose those that would be read further. So I want to thank you for that. I also want to thank our main sponsors. I know you have been thanked before, but I want to especially thank you for putting in money in literature. We have seen people in Kenya who have a lot of money and they have never thought to put a coin in the development of literature. So I want to thank you. And lastly, I want to thank the people of Pika. You have come out in large numbers to support Mr. Maina, one of our own. I don't know whether you want <laughs> your political ambitions. And now I want to thank our last uh, guest, uh, the person who has spoken as our guest, last guest, Joseph Wanjao Kenya. I met him and I had him mention my name. I met him when I had a book sale in Pekka and I was quite impressed by the way, the vision this young man had. So, Kenya, I want to tell you, I wrote my first uh, book also on an exercise book when I was in Saturday 7. So I can see a bright future ahead of you. I want to thank the High Commission for the people from the Australian Embassy. Thank you for gracing our occasion. And we are pulling you in. Please work with us. We work with other embassies. And uh, let's all grow literature here in Australia in different parts of the world, let's grow the art of storytelling. So thank you. I think they are going to be, they, they are all a few refreshments. When you come to an African home, Lazima Upatek compare chai. So please don't leave. You can mingle and let's talk about literature and uh, things development. Thank you. 
and uh, for the book. So people who are asking about a uh, book, they are here, there. On my left, you can get an autographed copy from our young man. And there are also other books from Solano Publications. So, asante ni sana. Na karibu ni tika tena. Wow, we are through, we are through, but we have something to eat and drink, so don't be in a rush. Asante, asante sana. James Murua, and I'm the, the chairman of the Kendeka Prize of African Literature. Uh, my name is uh, Lucas Wafula, I'm uh, uh, the managing director, Booklist Press Limited. My name is Hetal Wairimo, and I've written a book called Discovering Your Best Life. Dr. Sarah Wairimo Kimaru. Which line? I am the Dean School of Social Sciences, Mount Kenya University. Christopher Kinyo Wanjau. I'm the father to Joseph Wanjau Kinyo. And uh, you know, combined virtual uh, event where people were streaming in from around the world, and we've had people who are local. And for the, especially for the event where we we were handing out prizes, the people who are winning the prizes, one is one was based in Botswana and two are in Nigeria. That, so that, those are the parts they brought, the virtual part of it. And then uh, we hosted a young man, uh, Joseph Wanjao, who has a debut novel, a de debut book, Billy in the Robotic Universe. And I'm so happy that we had this occasion today uh, because we are realizing the birth of something very, very important to Kenyans, to Africans, the Kendeka Literature Prize. I like reading, swimming, <laughs> acting and also singing. When I was about seven years old, I used to be in a church choir at Sitam Thika Road in Nairobi. But now we moved to Thika, so I wrote this book when I was eight years old. And after a while, I did the corrections and mom was now able to publish the book. That There was great turn up. We had very many people coming to witness the event. We had young writers. We have, had, we have witnessed one who, was, who is just 10 years old. We have also witnessed a 14-year-old boy who is in class 8 and has written a book uh, on uh, uh, Biri in the Romantic Universe, which is a good book of, uh, of uh, 300 pages. And this was such a successful day. We are really grateful to Andrew Miner for initiating such a, a great day and uh, making people come together to witness. And I know that this is not the end. This is just a beginning. And I want to say that literature, we are getting to the point where we are, we are really depending on what is written and what we hear people say. And so even as we are in this digital time, I want to say it is such a perfect time because uh, with, digi with, the, with the digital times, we can record ourselves using our, our, our phones and you can be able to send your message to the world and they will hear. So anytime you get any news to get uh, for, for that required to be recognized, it's possible to do a recording and it's possible to send it forth for people to hear. But other than that, I know there are some things that can easily get erased. So I also want to acknowledge that writing is a very uh, permanent way of keeping information. It's a good way of documenting. And so I want to encourage that every time we also want to hear and, and we want to send messages forth, we should not only say them, but we can also put them in writing. So I see a great future for the young people. Uh, I see a, a great future where all of us shall really get into knowing every information that is happening all over the world. And this shall help us if we take it positively we are going to do much more than we can even uh, tell because uh, there is every information there is e every way to, re to receive information at every time you need it and you can send the same information to the world anytime you want to do it so I'm grateful that there was a success thank you yes I feel proud I, I feel uh, proud uh, fact is to say that uh, uh, I'm feeling proud because I supported him to uh, to 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 to, uh, to 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 light and 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 also to realize or to achieve uh, his goal and also his talent. So uh, I don't feel bad because uh, you see now what is important is for us to nurture uh, the different talent uh, for him. Talent is uh, on uh, lighting.